Hello everyone and welcome to GameSpot's first episode of Deal With It. Today we're talking about Steam's summer sale and we're going to run you through the top five games from Steam's daily deals and then five other games that will be on sale throughout their sale that ends July 22nd. Let's kick this highlight reel off with the Rational Games enigmatic first person shooter Bioshock Infinite. It can currently be had for a cool $29.99, 50% off the normal $60 price tag. Take to the skies, power up your vigors, and stay away from that pesky songbird. What a jerk. Next up is Endless Space. If you've never tried a hardcore 4x space sim, and even if you have, you'd be a fool not to pick up the excellent Endless Space and its accompanying Disharmony expansion pack for only $11.89, 60% off the normal retail price. While outer space is tough, surviving in the wilderness is no small task either, especially when you've been forced to do so against your will. Such is the fate of Wilson, the star of the survival horror gem Don't Starve from Klee Entertainment. The only way to ensure a future for the tiny scientist is to exploit the resources in your environment. And for 40% off the normal price, you too can try your hand at chopping down trees and outrunning foul beasts for only $9. In Antichamber, up is down, but also up and, and well, it's confusing and it's a twisted world, the likes of which would make MC Escher proud. It's also a great game. And it's up to you to navigate the labyrinth within Antichamber, where improbability is king and the impossible ends up being your only option. At 66% off, Antichamber is a steal at only $6.79. Put on your favorite animal mask and explore humanity's limits in the violent world of Hotline Miami. This top-down shooter has been a fan favorite ever since it came out last year, and for $2.49, you too can own one of the most disturbing, addicting, and stylish action games of 2012. Alright, on top of daily deals, there are a bunch of other titles that will continue to go for rock bottom prices until July 22nd. Rather than run through the entire list, here are today's top 5 persistent game sales to keep your eye on. The Half-Life Complete Bundle at 50% off includes 10 titles from the Half-Life series, including the original Half-Life, the entire Half-Life 2 saga, and a slew of other expansions for only $19.99. Hot on the heels of the critically acclaimed Brave New World expansion, you can now own the original Sid Meier's Civilization V for just 15 bucks. And if you're feeling especially rich, you can add the entire catalog of expansions, excluding the Brave New World, for a grand total of $24.99. Now, if you don't know what Skyrim is, you've probably been under a rock for the past two years. If you simply haven't had the chance to play it, it's time to drop the excuses because the standalone game only costs a hair over a Jackson until the 22nd. At 30% off, you too can roam snowy mountaintops and troll fearsome foes with exploding chickens for just $20.99. The aptly named Prepare to Die edition of the brutal fantasy action adventure Dark Souls will chew you up and spit you out, and unless you hate a challenge, you owe it to yourself to take a chance on one of the most engrossing and difficult games since 2011. At 50% off, Dark Souls Prepare to Die edition is only $14.99. We've come to our last game, which is Grand Theft Auto 4. Truly a game that needs no introduction, and if you don't own this masterpiece already, quit being a dummy! Go drop some cold hard cash into Steam right now! While you could test the waters by picking up just the main game for $9.99, Adding the game's two phenomenal expansions for a total of $14.99 is well worth the extra five bucks. And obviously there are many more games that I could talk about in just one video, so make sure to check back with GameSpot every day for updates on what we think are the best deals of the day. And on that note, keep in mind, if the games you're looking for aren't on sale today, they might be in the days to come. Everyone, thanks for watching. This has been GameSpot. Deal with it.